Elsa. I hope that you're having an awesome day. Um, me and Chris, we just got home from San Antonio about an hour, hour and a half ago. And I wanted to sit down and film this quick video um, since I am starting to unpack all of our stuff, which probably won't get to the close today because I miss my babies and I just want to go hang out. So I just wanted to sit down and film a video about what I packed going to San Antonio. And this is typically what I would pack whenever I go on any sort of trip or vacation. Um, some of the products might change out, but it's generally pretty similar. Um, so this is my bag. Um, I got it from TJ Maxx. Anyways, that's not important. What is important is all of the stuff that we have in here. So I'm just going to start pulling from the top and we'll work our way down. Um, I do also have this bag right here. This bag I got in an Ipsy box, I don't know, a couple years ago probably. I'm including this bag in this video because I take this everywhere with me. Um, it stays in my purse and I have to have it anytime that I leave the house if I'm wearing makeup. So we'll get into that bag in just a minute to this big beauty. First thing I have in here is a setting spray. It's L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. I'm going to be putting this up while I am um, showing y'all, by the way. <laughs> I did pick up a new shade of the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This is in the shade 00B Light. And I do like it. It is a pretty good shade match for me. Wet n Wild Pressed Powder in the shade Warm Light. My Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade 05 Fair. I took my ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. I took a powder puff. I did have another one, but I left it at the hotel because it was dirty. I just needed to throw it away. So this is a clean powder puff that I had with me. I just didn't use it yet. This is my Eco Tools Beauty Sponge and this cute little guy that I use to let him hang out and dry in. I have my Hoola Bronzer, of course, because I love this stuff. I took my NARS Dual Intensity Blush in the shade Adoration. I have my ColourPop uh, Pressed Highlighter in the shade here, Kitty Kitty. I'm going to take out the brushes and I'll show you the brushes that I took in just a little bit. Let's see. Uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. I took my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Uh, and this is in the shade Dark Brunette. I took my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, which I did not end up using. This is the e.l.f. 3-in-1 Mascara. I don't use it for mascara because I absolutely hate the way that it feels on my lashes. It separated them really nicely, made them really nice and long whenever I put it on my lashes, but it never would dry. And I would close my eyes, you know, blink or anything, and my lashes would just clump together. And it was like I had three lashes like this on my eye. It was not comfortable or attractive. <laughs> um, but what I do use this for is for my brows. Um, let me show you here. So it has like this kind of ball point at the end like this ball applicator at the end here and I love to get it and I kind of wipe off some of the excess and I brush it through my brows. It is the perfect brow gel color for me. Um, it separates them and makes them look full. It gives definition to my brows and I absolutely love it. It keeps them in place and I don't have to worry about my brows kind of flying everywhere because I have crazy brows. I have my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Love this. It's always been a favorite. I took my e.l.f. Lock On Face Primer. I took my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in the shade Black. I think this was in my purse. It is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade 20 Pioneer. I also took my CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ballerina. My LA Girl White Foundation Mixer. My Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. Will not travel without it forever. Ever, ever again. I took my Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Lacquer Liquid Liner. I took my L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner. It is in the shade Blackest Black. I love this. I actually really need to get a new one because this one is kind of starting to dry out and I've had it for a while. Um, and that is it from in here. 
Let me just show you really quickly the brushes that I took. I was kind of irritated at myself that I didn't take, like, I don't know, the brushes that I took was really random. Usually I put a little bit more thought into them. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was just trying to pack fast because I did pack the same day that we were leaving, like that morning. Um, let's see, so let me grab my face brushes. These are the face brushes that I took. Um, my highlighter brush, contour brush, which I didn't even end up contouring at all while we were gone. I took this brush. This is a Moda brush um, that I got in an Allure Beauty box. I use this sometimes to set my uh, concealer under my eyes. It does a pretty good job at that, but I always end up going over it with a beauty blender anyways, or with a makeup sponge. Um, I took this big old fluffy elf brush of these brushes with the clear handles. Um, they are elf brushes. Um, I took this stippling brush. I use this one to sweep away any of the baking that I do under my eyes with my setting powder. This stippling brush that I use for my bronzer. This elf brush for my blush, obviously. This e.l.f. brush, I didn't use it. I don't know why I packed it. I don't know. And I also took this e.l.f. brush right here. It's kind of like a smaller powder brush. I wish that I would have taken a foundation brush with me. I mean, I, I haven't really been using foundation brushes that much, but I do, I, I still would have liked to have one. Um, and then here's the eye brushes that I took, again, I wish that I would have thought a little bit more carefully while I was packing because I definitely, I definitely needed more blending brushes. I had this one. It's like a flat shader brush that's a little bit fluffy. I don't know how to describe it. Um, these that you see me use that have like these rose gold handles um, or the, ooh, or the rose gold handles like this. Um, these are from Amazon. I got them. They're really cheap brushes that work really fantastic. Flat shader brush. I didn't use it. Well, I might have used it. I don't know. I think I did. Um, let's see. This flat liner brush. And then I used something fluffier to blend it out with, which I didn't take anything fluffier. So I had to use this one, which is a little bit bigger than what I would prefer to use. I used this one with my Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Lacquer Liner. I had this other little detailed brush that I always like to use this one for highlighting the inner corner of my eyes and highlighting my brow bone. Um, then I had this blending brush, this more dense blending brush, this other dense blending brush which is basically the same exact thing as this other one, and another tiny flat definer brush. So, Casey, what are you doing? You need different brushes than that. Pack some other stuff next time, okay? Thank you. Now, for this little bag right here, I never go anywhere without this bag. If I'm wearing makeup, I will have whatever highlighter that I'm using. Um, mostly, I only use it for the mirror. The empty eyelash pack in case I'm like on my way home or something or a lash pops off, I can put my lashes in here and they're safe and secure. Two of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks in the shade 65 Seductress and 05 Loyalist. I have a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. Always, always, always my tweezers, my little bitty tiny um, scissors, and my lash glue. These are the things that I absolutely have to have with me anytime that I leave the house. I have to have a mirror, I have to have my lash glue, tweezers, and my little scissors, because you never know when you need little scissors. I have used them plenty of times. And I love to have a little case with me that, have, that I can store my lashes in. And obviously I trade these out for whatever lip color that I'm wearing that day. So that is it for what I pack whenever I travel. Sometimes the products, you know, they change out, just whatever I'm feeling that I wanna take. But usually it's always a small eyeshadow palette, something, usually something neutral. I'm not gonna go and pack glitters with me unless it's that kind of trip that requires glitter. And I did also wanna show you what I bought while we were there. Um, I did take a little trip to Sephora. I didn't go crazy because I'm not trying to go bankrupt because I know that I will if I'm given the chance. Um, 
but I have my little Sephora bag here. Let's see. I picked up the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, foundation in the shade Snow. I am wearing this today, and so far I like it. Um, I think I need to change up probably my powder with it because I used my um, Maybelline loose setting powder to set all over my face with and it's just it's looking a little bit dry on me so I want to change up my powder see if we can fix that I also got the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions little mini palette I'm absolutely infatuated with this it's stunning it's beautiful it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today um, what I did today is pretty similar to the Valentine's Day makeup that you will see in the video before this goes up. Um, but this is a beautiful palette. Like, I want to get all of the other ones because it's so nice. But it does have a very nice large mirror. Um, just absolutely beautiful shades. If you want to see swatches of this, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I'll definitely do some swatches in another video. But it's a beautiful palette, and I definitely want more of them. Um, and then I also got two samples. I got the Fenty Foundation, which I have not tried yet, in the shade 120. And I also got a sample of the NARS Radiant Long Wear Foundation, and this is in the shade Oslo. And I think that's it. Um, it was a, This was a fun video, and I really enjoyed it, you know, just kind of getting a little sneak peek into what I pack. Um, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. Um, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification and you'll get notified every time that I post a video. Anyways, I am going to go play with my babies and watch some TV and finish cooking dinner. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.